you poor, poor boy. What am I going to do with you? Whatever you like, madame. Oh! Do you have any idea what your antics could have cost us? I don't know. I was just assaulted on national television. Oh, what are you going to do? Press charges against your stepson for defending his mother's honor? I don't think so, Steve. Sarah may be in jail, but she's not the villain of this city. You are. I'm no villain. I'm a victim. I was decked. The more you run around town like some fame-hungry clown, the less anyone will respect you or any of our business endeavors. Nobody has sympathy for you, Steve. There are people picketing outside trying to get Sarah out of jail, and you stand outside the attorney's office with your greasy smile and have the gall to not only spill sensitive information about her case, but to promote a brunch special? I answered a few questions and offered a public- Shut service. up! You know the expression, guilty by association? I am not going down for your blatant stupidity, Steve. You stand up there and all Bay City watching is thinking, there's that rapist that blackmailed poor Sarah Garrett into marrying him. There's no proof that I raped Sarah. You don't understand. Sarah can do no wrong. Well, she's the one still in jail. I'm out here trying to keep the family together. Do not give me the song and dance about the Honorable Steve Jensen because I'm not buying it. And more importantly, they aren't either. I did not go into business with you to fail. The only reason I even considered working with you was because of your association with the Garretts. If this town sees any division between you and that family, you're out on your ass. Till Sarah gets out, you better play smart because no matter what happens to her, this town belongs to the Garretts. Maybe you should get a bodyguard or something.